Perception, this is your math session for today. And today is Problem Solving Friday. Today you'll need paper, pencil, and lots of other resources that you'll find in your house. Today for Problem Solving Friday, we're going to be looking at all the different ways that you can represent a number. And we can do this by using any household items. I'm going to show you in a moment. If we have a look at the number 14 together, you can see here that I've represented the value of the number in lots and lots of different ways, using lots of different things. Here I've used 14 cubes. Each cube has a value of 1. Here I've used 10 beads and then 4 more beads. 1, 10 and 4, which has a total value of 14. Here I've used elastic bands on a, a square and you can see that each rectangle has a value of 2, making a total of 14. Here the orange cubes represent 5 and the green cubes represent 2. 2 fives, 2 twos has a total of 14. Here, I've grouped strawberries into two. Here, I've got a tower of 10 bricks and a tower of four bricks, one, 10 and four, having a total value of 14. I've done the same here, but I've put them all together. I've also used 14 crayons. You can use your knowledge of subtraction and addition. We know 10 take away, um, sorry, 10 add 4 equals 14 and 18 take away 4 also equals 14. Your challenge is to find as many ways as you can to represent the number 10. Good luck! 